Hi. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Automator to create ping files from PDF files for upload to the Game Crafter, a board game printing service. In order to do that, we're going to be using a application called Automator. It comes free with OS X, and its goal is to automate repetitive, tedious tasks, and saving out a bunch of pings from a PDF would certainly qualify for that. So what we're going to do is we're going to use Automator to create a workflow. And it's, there's basically four steps in what we'll be doing today. The first is we create that Automator application, and it's going to do these three things. It's going to render PDFs to pings, each page as a separate ping. Then it's going to move those images to a folder. And then it's going to rename those images so that they have a sequential numbering to them so that you can easily tell which image is which when you go to upload them to the Game Crafter. So let's take a look and see how it works. You'll find Automator inside your Applications folder. And let's just create a new workflow. We'll hit Command-N. Now when you open Automator, you'll see that there's a bunch of different options. One of them is the application. And if you see down here, it says, Applications are self-running workflows. Any files or folders dropped onto an application will be used as input to the workflow. Now that's what we want, because what we'll have is we'll have some PDFs, like this rules booklet, and what we'll want to do is drop that onto the workflow and it will split up this workflow and create ping files out of each page and stick them in a folder. So this is what we'll be starting with and we want to end with a series of ping files in a folder. So let's choose application for as the type of automator document that we'll be creating. Okay, we're presented with a, a blank list of workflow items. That's what this area is. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be dragging steps of a workflow into this area. So the first thing that we need to do is render that PDF as images. And so what I'll do is I'll use this search feature up here. Render. There it is. Render PDF pages as images. That's exactly what we want. So let's drag that over there into our workflow. And you'll see up here at the top, it says application receives files and folders as input. So we'll be dropping a PDF file onto this, and this workflow action will take that PDF and do something with it. And in this case, it will render the PDF pages as images. Let's leave them as RGB, but the Game Crafter wants ping files. So let's change this to portable network graphics image. That's what the PNG stands for in ping. And the Game Crafter likes 300 dot per inch images. And we don't want any compression. We want the least amount of compression that we can get away with because that will give us the highest quality image. Higher compression would lead to artifacts and little bad parts in the, the images. So we're going to leave it down here at the least amount of compression. The next thing we need to do is we need to move them into a folder. So let's see, move. Move finder items. Okay, this is going to be creating some finder items, but they're going to, it's going to stick them in a temporary folder. And what we want to do is put them somewhere where we can get access to them. So let's add this to the workflow. So now we'll be moving folder items. The default is to go to the desktop, but I don't think we want to do that. Let's um, let's choose a different one. Let's go down to Other, and we'll just throw them into this tutorial. Create a new folder. Let's call it uh, Pages, and choose it. So now it'll be placing those files into the Pages uh, folder that we just created. Now the last thing we want to do is rename the these temporary images after they've been created. So let's do a search on rename. Ah, there we go. Rename finder in items. So that'll be the last thing that we do. 
It says, this action will change the names of the finder items passed to it. Would you like to add a copy finder items action? No, we don't want to do that because we don't want to leave these temporary files lying around. We might as well just, cop just rename them. So I'm going to say don't add. And what I'll do is I'm going to set this to make sequential. And what that'll do is it'll go through the, the list of images that we've created and give them sequential numbers. And we'll call them uh, pages. And you can see down here, it'll show you a, a, an example of what it's going to look like. Page-1.png. Page-2.png. That sounds pretty good. Okay, so let's save this workflow. And we'll uh, put it right there in our, right up above our pages area and call it uh, convert PDF to PNGs dot app save. Okay, it's been created. Let's try it out. Here's the oops. So here's the the application that we've created. Here's the folder that they're gonna go into. So let's drag one of these PDF files onto that application. Let's take that rules book that we looked at earlier. Oops. And there they are. It took a little while to do, but there they are. Let's take a look. Page 1, page 2, page 3, page 4, page 5. So, it's looking pretty good. If and it works for uh, creating cards too, so that if you have a PDF document with a bunch of cards in it, you can do that too. Let's delete those and take this Boss Quests PDF. This is a bunch of uh, cards for a game we're working on. And let's drag those onto the Convert PDFs to Pings. And we'll, you'll see that there they are. There's all the cards made as separate PNG files. Now, if you watch the other video that we made, we have a video that shows you how you can use Pages, the word processing application that Apple puts out. We show you how to use that to actually create these, um, these, fi these PDF files that we can use. So this is a great way to work with the information from the last video to take those PDF files that came out of that workflow that I showed you before and create the actual pings that we can upload directly to the Game Crafter. If you have any questions, feel free to add them to the comments of the YouTube page. And I hope you enjoyed this video and that it helps you out. Thanks for watching.